What's up, guys? Uh, I, my original intent was to do a live video where I watched the Rise of Skywalker trailer and then reacted to it with you guys for the first time. And uh, for whatever reason, um, both YouTube and Facebook, the two channels that I would utilize to do that, um, they're not working. And I don't know why. They, they've always worked for me before. So whatever, we're not. It's not working. But I'm gonna still. I still have not watched the trailer. So you are getting my live trailer reaction right here in the studio. I know it's not live um, for you, so we can't interact. But interact with me in the comments, anyways. Let me know what you thought of the trailer. I'm gonna go ahead and play it. I've not seen it yet. So this is gonna be the first time that I've watched it, and uh, you'll get my my live my live reaction to it. Here it is, the Rise of Skywalker trailer. I always love seeing the Lucasfilm logo. <laughs> yes. Cool soundtrack. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch it again because it's so crazy. Uh, I want to watch it again. Let's watch it again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk through this one and we're going to pause it because there's a lot going on. So we start out, we've got the, the Lucasfilm logo and then Ray drops a helmet or like kicks a helmet or something. A helmet falls down. And she's running through a forest. It looks like the forest, the sanctuary moon. It looks like the forest moon of Endor. Um, yeah, that that helmet. I don't. I don't recognize that helmet. I don't think it's the helmet that she wore in the Force Awakens because it doesn't look like the right coloring to me. And uh, Finn has a voiceover. Finn's the first voiceover, and he's telling us it's an instinct. So it's an instinct. What's an instinct? It's a lot of Ray training. Obviously, there's a lot of Ray training going on. The Force brought us together. That's Finn and Ray, I maybe. Or or he's referring to him in Rose, so we don't really know. It's showing Ray. It's showcasing Ray. But it's not necessarily mean that he's talking about Ray. Cool shot. There's a cool shot here. I don't know too much about the Ray training scenes. I mean obviously she's training and I guess that that's uh I guess that that's cool. It doesn't tell us a lot. It doesn't it doesn't tease a lot. Poe Dameron's voiceover starts to talk. I see Poe. He's standing up here in front of some people. It looks like he's addressing them. Lando's sitting across from him. There's some dude over to the left in like full on gold armor. Like, what is that about? It's like somebody tore up 3PO and made armor out of him. <laughs> dude, that's crazy. I don't know what's going on. But it almost looks like a Yavin shot because if you look out the back over on the side, if you look out the back on the side, it almost looks like Yavin the way we've seen Yavin in the past. I'm sure it's not, but it kind of looks like it. And then there's Rose, and there's some people in the background behind Rose that I don't recognize. And then they say that, and Poe is talking about like there's good people that will fight if we lead them. Got a shot of Chewie with a bowcaster, which is always awesome. Finn and Poe and Chewie are together. That's kind of interesting. They're on a uh, jungle looking planet. It honestly looks like they just walked out of the Jungle Book movie. <laughs> it's a Disney mashup to save money. That's how they got to do. They got to film all their movies at the same time. Probably my favorite shot of the trailer is the shot of the. Uh, what is it, the cruiser um, coming through the trees? And then we got this shot of Ray, and it looks like she's on the parts of the Death Star that we saw earlier. And then she says, like, people don't know me. And the, the CG on this is astounding. No one knows me. Except Kylo Ren says he does, and he comes walking out of the rain with his lightsaber. Then we get this, like, shot of these uh, TIE fighters coming in on this ice planet. And this ice planet is really fascinating because it looks like there's people living on both sides of it almost like the gravity of the ice planet is pulling them in but there wouldn't be much gravity at all it's a really interesting looking planet i don't know what they're doing on there i don't know if they're mining something if this is a mining planet or there's just people living on an asteroid but it's super cool looking i don't know what neil degrasse tyson would say about its accuracy but it looks awesome and there is a bunch of tie fighters headed towards this place and they don't look like they're headed there in a friendly way it looks like they're going there for nefarious means. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know exactly know what's going on. And then you get Palpatine's voice, long have I waited, and then there's like this giant throne. It almost looks like it's a, an ancient Sith throne of some kind. Oh, I love seeing Star, Star Destroyers. Anytime I see a Star Destroyer, this one looks like it's coming up out of the ground, which is completely ridiculous, uh, but it looks amazing. And then he says, long have I waited, and now you're coming together. Does that mean Kylo Ren and Rey? Or does it mean like a lot of the rebellion together? And then Kylo Ren and Rey fighting 
on uh, where the the waves are. Again, I think that that's the Death Star. I think, and then something just blowing up, an explosion in space, essentially, uh, in the middle of space. Palpatine is talking about their coming together as their undoing, and it looks like. Poe and Finn are going on a cruiser out to see Ray, or maybe they're taking Ray out there. I don't know. Oh, uh, we see Carrie Russell's character in the when we see three PO. Carrie Russell's character is off to the side. Fantastic looking character. This indicates. This seems to indicate to me that three PO is gonna die, because he's like, I'm taking one last look at my friends, and he's either referring, he's either being negative three PO, and he thinks they're gonna die, or he's doing something where he knows he's gonna die. And then you get a shot of um, R2-D2, which looks like it's in the same scene. And Chewbacca, they're all upset. Confronting fear is the destiny of a Jedi. Um, and this is Luke saying this probably posthumously, which is interesting because he did not confront his own fear in The Last Jedi, which is interesting. So now are we getting old, the old uh, Return of the Jedi Luke back? Is that kind of what we're getting? Looks like a little bit of a color run here. <laughs> exploding, exploding chalk. Uh, it almost looks to me, okay, so just watching this this trailer for what it's worth, it almost looks like to me that Ray has gone off and is doing other things, almost like Luke did in The Last Jedi, but maybe not for the same reasons, because she doesn't seem like she'd be fearful in that way. And then it looks like that Finn and Poe and Chewie and the rest of that crew are like on a quest to find her, because they're always together, like trying to get to her, it seems like. And so I'm wondering if, like, she goes off by herself because she thinks that the, all the hope is gone or something or she needs to confront the Emperor or whatever. And then Kylo goes after her and then Poe and Finn and Chewbacca go after her. And then there's a confluence of them. And then it's her destiny con to confront fear. And then this Y-Wing is attacking a... What was that? A Star Destroyer? Yeah, Y-Wing attacking a Star Destroyer. That Y-Wing is, like, flying all over the place. Like, we usually see the Y-Wings and they're pretty steady. That's kind of cool. And then there's like this uh, cavalry charge. There's like a whole bunch of people on horses or horse looking things with BB-8 rolling alongside them. And then we got this really quick shot of Rey and Kylo in the wreckage of the Death Star. And then there's this one scene here where Kylo's got his mask back on. And it looks like... It looks like he has... Like a a shrine to Vader again and they destroy it giant space battle with all kinds of star destroyers and then Rey confronting Palpatine it looks like and he's sitting on the throne which is crazy so obviously she's trying to get to Palpatine somehow or maybe this is earlier in the film and she gets to Palpatine and then she turns into dark Rey and like joins him and joins his side um Rey is wearing white if i'm not mistaken in almost every single scene kylo is still wearing black um kylo put is has put the helmet back on which is an odd choice why are they at the death star probably has something to do with just what what they're doing in regards to trying to find palpatine maybe trying to resurrect palpatine maybe i have no idea but that's a pretty interesting trailer I don't... Okay, so here's my problem. Here, now I'll get into my, my kind of feeling about it. Um, the story that it seems to be setting up is that it seems to be setting up that Rey feels alone, uh, right? Like, why, why, why would we assume that she feels alone? Well, there's a lot of shots of her training all by herself. All the other characters are talking about coming together, but she's talking about how she's always been alone and that nobody really knows her. And then Kylo says, well, I kind of do know you. Um, which is interesting because it either means that Kylo knows her from before or Kylo knows her in some different context. I don't know. That's kind of a weird one for me. But obviously we knew that they were going to come together. We know that they've been sharing some sort of force bond. So it's not surprising for him to say, like, I do know you because he's reached into her mind before and seen her thoughts and kind of knows what that's about. It's not unusual for him to say that he would know her. But it looks like what they're setting up from a concept standpoint is that everybody else wants Rey to be in community and Kylo wants to try and draw her out of that community into being sort of more of the ruling class, which is what he is and what Palpatine probably is. And my guess is that, here's my guess, 
is that Kylo has been trying to get to Palpatine this whole time. But Palpat or, uh, Kylo's philosophy is always to burn the past. So I don't think he's going to be a pawn of Palpatine. I think he's going to be trying to defeat Palpatine. And I have a feeling that Rey and Kylo are going to need to come together to defeat Palpatine. But I almost kind of feel like they're not going to be able to defeat Palpatine until their friends show up. It's very much setting up a return to Empire Strikes Back and... Um, Return of the Jedi because those films were all about redemption through friendship, redemption through reconnection, redemption through reconciliation um, and then the that would destroy evil and I have a feeling that that's going to be part of this whole journey and I have a feeling that um, I don't know I have a feeling that Rey and Kylo are not making it out of this one alive man I just think that that's I still think that that's the case we don't get any information from the trailer that might lead us to believe that the trailer doesn't give us a whole lot of information at all it's giving us a whole lot more of just basic feelings uh Daryl my co-host texted me right before I filmed this and was like oh the trailer is like that's the way to do a trailer and I hadn't seen it yet I just watched it for the first time literally with recording it with you guys um my favorite trailer that I've seen thus far related to all of the films would probably be a tie between Rogue One and The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens was an amazing trailer because you had so many of the old characters and the new characters coming together and it was just this like, we get more Star Wars. Now we're closing out Star Wars and it's just this like sense of like, I just want to see it. At this point in time, I, wanted, I just want to see it. So uh, Daryl thinks it's a great trailer. I would say that it is a good trailer. And one of the reasons I say it's a good trailer is because it reveals almost nothing. Like there's no way for you to predict. If you're like, oh yeah, I know what happens. Uh, I'm like, yeah, good luck, dude, because this trailer doesn't prove or disprove anything. I don't care. It could have been a bad trailer. I don't think it's a great trailer. It's not, it's not my favorite trailer that I've seen out of Star Wars. Big Star Wars fan. Can't wait for the latest Star Wars to come out. Not my favorite Star Wars trailer. But it doesn't matter because I'm going to go see that film. I already have tickets opening night. Uh, actually, this is a funny story. Um, I saw a tweet from a friend of the show, Brian Walter. And he had said, 10 hours ago, I got to get my tickets. And I was been busy all day long. And so I, uh, it's like 4.45 or something. And I see that tweet from 10 hours ago. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if there's tickets available. I log in. I get two tickets right away before they even formally announce that the tickets are on sale. So it's complete luck that I got tickets so easily, but I'm going opening day. I'm going Thursday night. I can't wait to go see it. The trailer wouldn't have mattered. It wouldn't have mattered what, the, I mean, I would be seeing this movie regardless. It doesn't matter. I would see it and I'm going to like it. I'm almost guaranteed. I have not hated a Star Wars film. I've not even disliked the Star Wars film. Um, even the Star Wars films that are not my favorite, like uh, The Phantom Menace. Phantom Menace is not my favorite Star Wars film, but I will tell you that The Phantom Menace has some of the best moments in the entire Skywalker saga. Uh, the pod race is fantastic. The The Duel of the Fates lightsaber duel, probably the still the best lightsaber fight we've ever had. Uh, I, th I think we're going to get some amazing lightsaber fights in this one. So can't wait to see that. But yeah, that's my reaction. I mean, I don't know what else to say. I'm gonna see this movie regardless. I love the I love the Skywalker saga. Star Wars is my second favorite fandom be, behind Indiana Jones here. Um, and it's not gonna leave us disappointed. I don't think. I think it's gonna. I think actually that this last movie is gonna bring together a lot of the fandom because I think they're gonna do things that a lot of different types of fans want to see. And I don't think anybody's gonna get exactly what they wanted. But I think a lot of people are going to get a version of what they were hoping for. We can already kind of get a feel that Luke might be more of the Luke that we expected to see from Return of the Jedi. Jedi are called to conquer and battle fear. That's what it looks like uh, Rey is going to be dealing with, especially as she's isolated. We did a whole film about this. We did a Star Wars fan film, fan film called Star Wars Rivals. And when we did that fan film, part of that was about isolation through bullying and abuse. And that turns people to the dark side. And so the idea that we would want to fight that is really good. So I wish I could have done a live show with you guys. The internet was working against me. But um, just let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Um, I would say solid trailer. 
probably mediocre to slightly better than mediocre. <laughs> I love seeing shots of Star Destroyer, so that's awesome. Um, and then, of course, it, it looks like it's wrapping up the series pretty well. Really excited about seeing Palpatine again. Palpatine has been core to the Skywalker saga. He basically brought about all of the, the Clone Wars and all of the rise of the Republic and then the fall of the Republic. All of that was Palpatine. And so to bring him back in in this, in this way is really cool. And I think it makes him the ultimate bad guy. And I don't know what they're going to do with it. You know, I don't know what, how that's going to play itself out. But I'm here for it. I'm sure you're here for it. Let me know down in the comments below. And it's been fun reacting with you. Next time I'll try and do a live one. I'll try and troubleshoot exactly what was going on about why they weren't letting me do that. But thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you're not subscribed now, please subscribe and check out the videos on the channel. Thanks for watching. Take it easy.